Hi, I'm David Jackson with The Patents Project. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing Jim Franklin, creator of Slide Around Math Manipulatives. Hi, thank you, Dave, for having me. I'm Jim Franklin. I appreciate the opportunity to be speaking at The Patents Project today. Uh, the reason why I'm here, I've invented a number line that goes to 10 million by incorporating the base 10 system and other math manipulatives that help with fractions, decimals, elapsed time, weight, and money. And one great thing about these manipulatives is that they're used by all students. This right here is my student version. You'll notice that the slides are in the back. You put them in like this. So in that way, students can use these. They're also available for low vision and blind students. There's tactile dots in each number. There's braille that students can um, run their fingers across so in that way they can find the answers and be included in the regular classroom. The first one that we're going to talk about today is what I call my 100X, and we're going to round this 688 to the nearest 100. You'll notice we have 600 on this side, 700 on this side. There's a line in the middle, 49 or less, you go this way, 50 or more, you go this way. The number we're going to do is 688. 688, round to the nearest 100, there's three ways. The most obvious way is my finger's closer to 700 than 600. There's a line in the middle. The number that we're dealing with is to the right of that, and 88 is greater than 50. You'll notice that on my number line to 10 million, each line here is worth 1. On this one over here, each line is worth 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. This manipulative right here can round to the nearest 100 and nearest 1,000. This can round to the nearest 1,000 and 10,000. This can round to the nearest 10,000 and 100,000. And this can round to the nearest 100,000 and million. The next manipulative I want to share with you is adding fractions and subtracting fractions without paper and pencil. The first problem we're going to do is 3 and 1 half plus 4 sixteenths. Do the whole numbers first. So you move the slide on the left is a 3. The slide on the right is a 4. Each line Imagine as a piece of string, cut in halves, fourths, eighths, and sixteenths. So three and one half plus four sixteenths. You drop straight down because eight sixteenths is the same as one half. Then we add four sixteenths. One, two, three, four. Some students would say the number is three and twelve sixteenths. The best answer is three and three fourths. But if you want to use this manipulative to subtract, you can go 2 and 1 fourth minus 2 sixteenths. So you have the whole number 2 on the left, the whole number 3 on the right. 2 and 1 fourth is right here. Because 1 fourth is equivalent to 4 sixteenths, you drop straight down. Then you take away 2 sixteenths, and you go to the left. 1, 2. Some students would say the best answer is 2 and 2 sixteenths, but the best answer after looking at this is 2 and 1 eighth. With all the manipulatives I've got, I have the fundamental idea that I believe great teaching is when you teach the students when they don't know when they're being taught. So in addition to these that I've already shared, we've got some for capacity, another fractions manipulative, elapsed time, weight, decimals, and money. If you want more information, feel free to go to www.slidearoundmath.com. Again, it's www. S L I D E A R O U N D M A T H dot com, or feel free to call me. My number is 706 506 8411, or send me an email at slidearound at comcast dot net, slide S L I D E dash A dash round R O U N D at comcast dot net, C O M C A S T dot net. I really appreciate your time. Feel free to call me. I'm more than willing to help your students and have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this Patents TV video. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and at patentsproject.org. That's P-A-T-I-N-S project.org.